Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashley. Um, this is my very, very first YouTube video and I'm super excited, but I'm very, very nervous right now. Not gonna lie. Um, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about me before I start my actual makeup tutorial. So I am 21 years old and I am from New York City. Right now I live in Miami, Florida and I go to school out here. Um, a little bit of background of why I wanted to start YouTube is because I absolutely love makeup and I love watching YouTube videos about makeup. So my channel is going to be a lot about makeup tutorials, it's going to be um, about fashion because I'm very into fashion and it's going to be like lookbooks. A lot of the things that I like to watch I want to incorporate in my channel. Um, there are so many things that have inspired me to start my first YouTube channel. Um, I've been inspired by a lot of my friends. I was always very nervous to make my own channel, but I, like, I thought that I wasn't, like, I guess, good enough or that I wouldn't be, like, popular or that I wasn't going to be like other YouTubers. But then something in me told me that, hey, you know, whatever, just go for it, have fun. It's just for it, something like to do what you love and to just have fun. So that's why I built up the courage to do so and I had so many people supporting me. main person who told me do it was my boyfriend. He really, 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 really supported me and pushed me to start my first YouTube video and my first channel. It was so, so sweet of him. And I have a friend from high school. Her name is Yvette Santos, which she has her own YouTube channel and I'll link it down below. Um, she really, really helped me with my channel. It, like she gave me so much advice and she really gave me a boost of confidence that I truly needed to start my channel. Um, she really inspired me and I built up the courage today to film my first video. So I'm so excited to share it with you guys. The reason why I wanted to start my channel was because I've had so many friends ask me advice on, you know, what do you do like with this or how do you do this or what do you use for this? So I really felt like um, that would be a great thing for me to do to share my ideas with others and that's what I'm going to do in my channel, share my tips and tricks with you guys and I truly hope you enjoy. So enough of me talking, um, let's go on and watch my video on this makeup look that I have and I hope you guys truly enjoy it and thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, so I'm going to start off with the Smashbox Primer Oil. This primer is the best for dry skin. I'm going to rub it all over my face. It truly helps my face stay moisturized all day underneath all the foundation and everything that I wear. I like to put this on first so that it can get tacky and ready. I'm then going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown and I'm going in with the Morphe M214 brush and I'm going to carve out the natural shape of my um, eyebrows. I like to just follow the shape and shade them in. I don't like any bald spots on my brows but I have pretty thick brows to begin with so I don't like to overdraw them or anything like that. I just like to follow the natural shape of them and fill them in. Then with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Sand Sable and the Morphe S6 brush, I'm going to carve out my brows and make sure that any mistakes that I made or anything coming out um, gets cleaned up. This allows me to shape my brows into whatever shape I'd like. I like my arch, so I just make sure to follow it and emphasize it and just carve them out so they could look flawless. I just brushed them a little bit also um, with the Morphe 414 brush as you will see right here. I then take my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and original. I place this all over my lids so that my eyeshadow could stay on all day and I rub it in with my fingers. With the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Illumination Under Eye Concealer I put this all over my lids as well with my finger. I then take my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder on a Morphe M200 brush and I rub that all over my lids with the brush. This allows my eyeshadow to blend perfectly. 
my favorite palette, the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going in with Burnt Orange on the Morphe M330. This is a very, very pigmented palette. As you can see, I kind of went in with a lot at first. A little bit goes a long way in this palette. All you need is one tap and you'll be good. I end up blowing off um, a lot of product off my brushes just because even one tap is too much sometimes. I like to blend, blend, blend. It's the key to life, guys. Um, honestly, I blend a lot. I really sped this up because you need to blend. With Bon Fresco from that palette, it's a purpley mauve color. I take this onto a Morphe M222 brush and place this all over my crease. This is a great um, pencil brush to work with your crease because it's very, very precise. I then switch over to a um, fluffier brush. This one doesn't have a name. It's a Morphe brush. It's just a fluffy brush to blend both Bon Fresco and Burnt Orange together so that there is no harsh lines or anything like that. Then with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on a Morphe M113 brush, I carve out my lids. This brush is a very good because it's very precise. It has a flat edge so that you could carve out your lids. I'm not necessarily doing a cut crease or anything like that. Just carving it out with some concealer. Then I'm going to go in with Primavera on a um, flat shader brush and I'm going to place this all over my lids. This is just a gold um, shimmery shade from the palette. I'm going in with my Stila Magnificent Metals in the color Gold Goddess. This is one of their new glitters. It's beautiful. I love it and I'm just placing it with the brush that it comes with. This can transfer guys, so try to let it dry before you open your eyes. I'm then just blending in Bon Fresco onto my um, crease again with that pointy brush, the M222. With the Maybelline Ultra Liner, it's a waterproof black liner, I'm going to wing, do a wing. I like to start off small and then build it up as I go. I'm not great at liners, so this is what helps me. Um, I start off really small and get bigger as I go so that I don't make mistakes. I'm practicing. <laughs> may not be the best, but it comes out nice in the end. <laughs> I'm then going to do my lashes off camera. These are just the Kiss 11 lashes. I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC42 and I'm placing this all over my face with my finger. I take the Morphe M439 brush. This is the best, best foundation brush. And I take my Beauty Blender, of course. It's the best, I love it. I can't live without it. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, again in light neutral. I place this all over my, um, under my eyes, on my forehead, nose. I blend that all in, anywhere I want it to be highlighted. I really like a bright under eye, so I make sure to put a lot there. I then go back to my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I take my beauty blender and I bake my nose and everywhere I put the concealer my nose um, makeup really comes off throughout the day so I that's why I put a lot of bake on it I then take the Morphe s94 brush and place the translucent powder all over my face this is a trick to make your foundation last all day with the Milani baked bronzer in Dolce I take my Morphe M460 brush and I just bronze my face. I'm not necessarily contouring, but this is a great brush for contouring. I contour my nose with this brush too. I 
I also carve out with the translucent powder my um, bronzer. With the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, it's my favorite. I take an angled fluffy brush and place it on the apples of my cheek. I take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I take the color Mimosa onto just a fan brush and I place it on my cheekbones. I take it up onto my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. I then take the Morphe M326 brush and I take the same colors I placed on my lids onto my under eye. And with the Revlon Grow Luscious Plumping Mascara, I will place mascara under my lids. Here I'm taking Vermeer and um, I'm placing that on my inner corners and my eyebrows. NYX Lingerie um, Liquid Lipstick in the color Bedtime Flirt. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. Finally, I'm taking my Max Fix Plus and my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Thank you guys so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. Um, if you guys want, you can subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting um, at least once a week. And if you guys want to like, not like, subscribe, I said that already, um, comment down below and share with your friends. I truly appreciate it. And I'm going to also link down all my social medias somewhere down below. So um, thank you guys and tune back in next week with my next video. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. No. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. No. You're so annoying. So, I don't know what to say. Hey guys. Oh, you're making me nervous.